So I know I said in my last video, my channel update, that I really wouldn't be uploading to this channel until I find out whether or not I can get monetized. But I am going to throw this video out for right now because this is kind of an in the moment news situation here. So I thought I'd just go ahead. You know, if I save this for whenever my channel gets monetized, by then this will be outdated probably. So I'll just go ahead and throw this out there for right now. Okay, so some NHL news came out today on Newsday.com. And this article kind of describes what the NHL has been thinking along the lines of over the last few days. So it appears more and more unlikely the NHL is going to finish the regular season. They are most likely going to be looking at the 2014 playoff idea. Several articles on Google show this. So this article right here describes two scenarios. Neither of them are finishing off the regular season. The first scenario says there will be 24 teams technically in the playoffs. It says the top four teams would play for playoff seating and the bottom teams would have postseason play-in games. So in other words, this is kind of like as a substitute for finishing the regular season, the teams that are not necessarily in the playoffs, but right around the playoff line, whether they're right above or right below, those teams are going to have kind of a play-in three game or I guess five game, I forgot which. But they're gonna have like a, a game series almost sort of like the wild card game in major league baseball and they're gonna do that to determine which teams go to the playoffs and which teams don't so think of this as not necessarily like 24 teams in a bracket but think of like having like the 16 teams right and then the bottom eight teams being like in the pre-playoffs if that makes any sense kind of like how some people consider the wild card game in major league baseball to be like a pre-bracket game you know that kind of thing the second idea as you can see here is to just send the 16 teams i guess whichever the top 16 are right now to send them straight into the playoffs with no regular season games played at all so in other words that's literally they just go straight into a 16 team playoffs and just pretend that this is where the regular season would have ended now, I'm going to explain why I am a fan of the first idea and not the second idea. Now, I'm not exactly, like, the biggest fan of the 24 team idea. If it were up to me, I would rather they finish the regular season. Now, maybe that's not necessarily possible at this point because I think the NHL was trying to do that. And I think they're just kind of running out of time. But... Let me just explain how awful of an idea it would be to just go straight into a 16-team playoff bracket, kind of as if the regular season was over. That is a terrible idea because, and this is actually the whole point of the 24-team idea. You see, if they just go straight into a 16-team playoff bracket, think about the teams that are right below the playoff line right now. Now, teams that are, like, way below the playoff line, like the Red Wings, for example. Now, it's not going to matter. The Red Wings are not just mathematically out of the playoffs. They've mathematically clinched the worst position in the NHL. That's how bad they are. So, for teams like the Red Wings, the Kings, and the Senators, it won't matter. 16 teams, 24 teams, they're done. But, think about teams that are right around that playoff line, including teams that are right below the playoff line. So, the New York Islanders, for example are just one point under the playoff line. The two wildcard teams in the East are the Carolina Hurricanes and the Columbus Blue Jackets. Both teams have 81 points. The Islanders have just 80 points. So if they just started a regular 16-team bracket today, the Islanders would be just one point out of it. But think about it. Would that be fair if they still had roughly 13 games, give or take, per team, left in the regular season and they didn't play those games out would that really be fair that's the whole point of the 2014 bracket because under the 2014 bracket teams like the islanders would be in the playoffs or the pre-playoffs if you would rather call it that so that's the whole point of going with 24 teams it gives those teams that maybe would have made the playoffs had the regular season played out to the end a chance to actually get into the playoffs now it's true Having a best of three or best of five before the 16 team bracket, that's not the same as finishing out the regular season. And the results might not be the same. Because fact of the matter is, we will never know for sure if they choose not to continue the regular season. We'll never know what the results would have been had they chosen to finish. So, for example, a team like the Canadians, for example, a team that would not have made the playoffs, most likely, if they finished the regular season, would they have won the Stanley Cup? 
if they had finished the regular season, we may never know. We'll never know for sure. They could have made a comeback. They could have done it. Unlikely, but it's possible. But the 2014 bracket gives those teams a chance. Teams that would have potentially caught up in the regular season. So the 2014 bracket, even though I'm not the biggest fan of it, I would rather they finish the regular season. But if these two options are the only options we have, the NHL has to do a 2014 bracket. If they aren't gonna finish the regular season, they have to do 24 teams. They cannot go straight into a 16 team bracket. As far as I see it, going straight into a 16 team bracket isn't even an option. I don't know why this article even lists this as a possibility. Now here's the thing, I'm a Stars fan, as most of you might know already. So if they did go straight into a 16 team bracket, the Stars would be in it. So this is not even a fan bias sort of situation. In fact, the Stars had a six game losing streak going into the pause that began on March 12th. So going straight into a 16 team bracket may actually in fact benefit the Stars. But nonetheless, I am still against that idea because it would be unfair to other teams like the Islanders, for example. I'm not an Islanders fan. I could care less about the Islanders or the Rangers who are one point behind them, but they deserve a chance. The first preference, finish the regular season. But if they can't, there has to be a 2014 bracket. There simply has to be. They cannot go straight into a 16 team bracket. So that's my thoughts on that. I want to know what your thoughts are in the comments below. And uh, thank you as always for tuning in. This is Clear Sky Productions. Yeah, uh, stay tuned for an update on whether or not my channel gets monetized. They are um, currently reviewing my channel as we speak. And hopefully that will get done pretty quickly. That will most likely be when you hear from me next. And then of course don't forget to t uh, check out my secondary channel. I've been doing some uploading on that channel lately. So most of my new videos will be there for the time being. So thank you as always for tuning in. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And until next time, this is Clear Sky Productions signing off. Good night, folks.